I have successfully clean, cleaned the entire house, top to bottom, even like bathrooms and bathtubs and stuff. And I'm so excited and I've gotten like, I've called people I needed to call and I've done a lot today and it's only 10 a.m. So I feel good. Lincoln's already taken her first nap and eaten and now she's playing on her play mat. And I am about to make potatoes for lunch because I'm craving them. I actually made Justin buy two of these yesterday when we went to Sam's Club because we went through the other one in like a week, which is probably bad for our health, but it was delicious. That was really disappointing. I just filmed this entire clip and I forgot to hit record. Hmm, frustrating. So anyway, I'm showing you guys one of Justin's Christmas presents. This is what is called, I guess, like the date envelope thing. I don't know. I see it all over Pinterest all the time and I finally decided to do it. So essentially, I just brainstormed a bunch of ideas and then started looking at prices and dates and realized what was realistic to do. Um, so I narrowed it down to about 18 and I split those up amongst the 12 months of the year. So some of them have two dates per month and some of them only have one, such as December and November, because those are the months that have like Christmas and Thanksgiving, things that you don't need to fill a month with events because it's already pretty busy. Um, and so I have usually, on the months that I have two dates planned, one date is like a pay date, like we would go kayaking, so we'd have to pay to rent kayaks. And the next date, is what I call like a slumber party. So we would clear everything out of our living room and like put blankets and pillows down and have um, popcorn and snacks and watch a movie. And so what he does is on January 15th, he'll open this and inside will be either instructions or tickets or a map somewhere, like things that tell him what the date is and what we're gonna do. Um, they're pretty flexible like he could open this on the 15th and we could not do it till the 30th But there are some that have dates that are set to them. like there's one that's on my birthday so we have a birthday one planned out and there's one That had to happen in July like on July 20th So I had to have him open it a few days earlier and then we're gonna go to it on July 20th, but I'm pretty excited. I It took me like five hours to do all this honestly, and I'm only halfway done. I just got all my ideas and planned out everything and wrote on all the envelopes today. And tomorrow I'm going to do the rest of it, like where you write out all the instructions and fill the envelopes. And so hopefully it works out. You know, I have like a ton of these here. So um, today I was actually supposed to do a lot of schoolwork and I didn't, I made these stupid envelopes. So, but I'm glad I'm getting it done because Christmas is coming up and this is one of his Christmas presents, so I need to get it done. But now I need to go focus on schoolwork if Lincoln doesn't wake up. Speak of the devil, good morning, my love. You woke up not one minute after I filmed that, didn't you? Hello. You seem pretty out of it, I'm not gonna lie. Let's turn off all your stuff. How is your nap? Beautiful. Your face looks very covered in milk. I forgot you were naked under all that. I forgot. She threw up all over her shirt right before she went down, so I just took it off her and swaddled her. You're warm. My hands are probably cold. What is that baby doing? Oh, where are you going? I forgot how naked you were. I have to go get you dressed because Dad's about to come home. Well, in a little bit. I'm not a huge fan of his schedule lately. It kind of really sucks. Um, oh, careful. He leaves super, super early and doesn't get home till super, super late. He usually doesn't get home until it's about time to put Lincoln down, which has been rough. But in a couple months, the Marine Corps will decide his fate. So I just have to make it through a couple months and then maybe something will happen or maybe we'll stay here. I don't know. It's just kind of when they make their decision. So we'll see. Hello, bear. Oh, look at you. Look at the little bear. Look at the little bear. Just the cutest. Oh, dad's actually never seen you in this. Oh, you're so cute. I love this. This was by far my favorite investment. Oh. 
My darling little bear. So Lincoln has actually been doing so good these past few days. We're pretty sure she's grown, going through a growth spurt, so we don't expect it to last. Oh, it's Bear doing. But it's been nice. She has been sleeping so good at night. Well, she'll go down at her bedtime and she'll sleep until about three or four, which is so nice. And then she'll fall back asleep. Yeah. But then she keeps doing that thing where she wakes up at 5 a.m. And that's it. Like, she's up for the day. And so at 5 a.m., I have to wake up and keep her up and active for like an hour. And then she'll sleep for another two hours after that. So technically, I guess we get her for the day at 8. But that's not including the hour that we just sit there and play. No bear. <laughs> so, um, generally, she is very good, though, at night. It's been a lot better for me and Justin, but I have been sleeping through her crying lately. Like, I'll hear her crying in my dreams, but nothing in my mind processes that I need to wake up. So Justin always has to wake me up, and I feel bad, like... If he's gone, I wonder if I would ever wake up or if you would just starve. Yeah. So, but um, during the day, she sleeps, wakes up, eats, plays, and she's up for like an hour and a half, maybe two hours, and then she'll go down and sleep for a Hi. solid two hours. Lincoln. Lincoln. Hi. 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 <laughs> That's a crazy face. <laughs> anyway, so during the day she's been doing so awesome and it's been so helpful. I've been able to get a lot done with like work and cleaning the house and she just kind of naps when she naps. I haven't had her on that schedule recently. Um, yeah, she naps when she naps and she's awake when she's awake and it's actually working out pretty good. <sighs> And she's kind of making her own schedule, which is nice. Merry Merry Christmas. Really? Yeah. Mm hmm. Not really vlog me, but <laughs> so I just finished putting away laundry and I got ready for bed while Justin was bathing that cute little baby. And we just watched the series finale of no no no, it wasn't even, sorry. We just watched the episode of Quantico that just came out and I about died. It was amazing. I love that show. <sighs> Don't film me. <laughs> 
so cute. But now we are going to bed. I know Miss Link is getting wrapped in her baby straight jacket. Oh, you can have so much fun in that. So we are going to bed. Good night. Every morning I'm going to be here. Why are you crying? Why so many tears? It's so cute. So we're going to add one more over there. So we can see that. Wow, they're kind of all slim. Look in the mirror and think this too. Something is perfect and pretty as cool. That is Christmas decoration. That's all we have. I never could leave. You gotta believe. But you think my heart. It's like you. Not all of you. You gotta believe. But you think my heart. Not all of you.